what's up, everybody? Tired today. But not me off. I'm at a point on my job where I want to just say fuck it all to everything. But at the same time, that would be basically like quitting. And even though I want to, I need the job. Andy. How are you doing? Doing good, doing good. And this one's good. Alright. Oh nice. I'll just get the classics. <laughs> yeah. I mean it's one of those things where I wanna quit but I need the money for to pay my bills. With the twenty thousand dollar loan that I got, I have to pay it off. Uh, I'm trying to some restraint. I'm gonna pay for my breakfast and everything later. I'm in frame. Um, so I just got my mushubi. I keep saying that I'll be doing a mukbang on these or like a mukbang series on these. Um, I already finished the script. I just gotta finish the research, just verify my information, and then once I'm done with that. Then I'll get on it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it's hectic with my schedule now and with Garrett with Garrett always growing and all of that. Like I'm not I'm not not happy about it in a way, but at the same time, it's like now me getting this job, me having enough more, more money to like, pay off my bills and all of that. It's hard. I just want one video to go viral. You know? Right here, ain't all you gotta do with over a million people living in the state of Hawaii. Now, while I'm great for the viewership in Russia, um, parts of the Philippines, Indonesia, but I'm thankful for those views. I mean, What good is it if it's not homegrown, you know? But yeah, just waiting on my aunt to, she just started her road test about five minutes ago. I know my aunt will, will be happy about it. I'm just thankful that they took her insurance because when they, when they took her insurance, they said that, oh, it's, it's supposed to be kind of like this manila envelope stock card texture but it was like the it was like a paper printout and copy um and i do agree with what the aunt said they're supposed to send like a kind of like a stock card uh a stock card uh insurance card like but it's not but good thing though they accepted she downloaded the geico app and good thing that she had it on on her app so hopefully the hopefully it goes good that was one hiccup but aside from that like driving here i don't know what the hell the problem was she was she, the only major hiccup that she had was the stopping and the braking basically brake to stop kind of thing um she was about 10 feet the first four times coming here like there's four stop signs that that we were stopped at before we got to the this building here the DMV with this building here um, and by all accounts she did great she followed the speed limit just a slightly a little bit a little bit too much speed but it was it was negligible the speed that she was at was negligible um, and it wasn't really that bad so I have a feeling that she'll pass with flying colors I'm praying that she'll pass with flying colors. And I think I just see my aunts pulling the car and pulling it now. That was fast. Let me share. So I just saw my aunt's car pull, uh, pull, uh, drive past the the main foyer of the of the office structure. Oh yeah, that's her car.
The reason why I can throw this in the car is because I didn't clean the, the residual plastic dip that was on the passenger side. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up and see what's see what's the result. Recording? So right now I think my aunt's parked somewhere or she's looking for parking. Um but that was fast. Normally like the driving test that I that I had was like about maybe ten maybe about 10, 20 minutes. This was like no less than five. Like the moment that we got in the auntie came and then the auntie the, or the proctor came with my aunt to take my my tita my aunt to do her driver's test. Um and yeah, it was quick. Sometimes quick isn't a good thing, but I'm I'm optimistic. My aunt is going to pass. I declare it. I declare a victory by my faith. So we'll see. I don't see them getting out. Hopefully she passed. Hopefully. I'm hopeful. I'm optimistic that she, she passed. I'm optimistic that she passed. But we'll see. We'll see. that I see video games I'm gonna I'm gonna play at tilt arcade some video games I forgot my game card so I'm gonna probably buy another one I'm in this arcade and I've been coming to this arcade for so long it's changed a lot but my number one go-to games are like the racing games so far my favorite one which I started playing I think several years back is initial D um, also obsessed with the anime too but let's see what game. I want to try something new. Like, because I always, I always defect to the racing games. Oh, fuck! I found my ass right now. I forgot my phone. Hopefully, my car doesn't get jacked, jacked up. But I left my phone in the car. But yeah, I'll play some initial D. So, I'm gonna go check on my mom. So I'm gonna go check out my mom, see where she's at. See where everybody's at, and then probably head home. Uh, let's smoke a cigarette first, and then head home. First, so good, mom. I'm actually gonna buy that speaker over there. I have one, it's, it's amazing. All I need to do now is just buy the amp for it, and that's it. 
So I want to meet up with my mom first. So meet up with mom first and then we have the speaker. Speaker, the same one. Yes. No. <laughs> it's a must. Yeah. Yes. Well, I have more than enough to pay on my credit card, so it's not that bad. And I have this time, I have some money to pay it off. So. Uh, well, all I need is another one of those, and then an amp, and then my DJ con my DJ stuff is set. I don't need lights. Let's think, let's think about that. Uh, we're getting done. Yeah. See, this is the reason why one one of the reasons why I trust mom with a lot of my money. And as immature as that is to say, no, for real though. Cause this woman right here will get a major stomach ache, like full on ulcer and blood in the stool stomach ache. Oh, that's one of my mom's workers. How you doing? doing good, Auntie. How you doing? What are you guys doing? Uh, just running errands. Oh, it's my sister. Oh, Okay. Bye. Alright. Auntie. I don't know if you remember. I don't remember. I don't know. Okay, bye. But, yeah, as I was saying, this woman right here will have bloody stool if she messes you over when it comes to money. Like, I'm, I'm saying this not only because I'm gonna get my butt whipped if I say anything else, but I'm telling you, I'm saying this because it's true. And mom, you're gonna hate me for this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna share a little story with them. <laughs> she knows the story that I'm talking about. But no, the, it was my first paycheck. And mom and dad, at the, when my dad was alive, didn't have the funds because they had something wrapped up already. All of the money was wrapped up. Um, paying the bills as well as my mom and dad were also thinking of investing some of the money that they saved well it so happened that uh, mom was kind of shanghaied into going into one of these conferences but the person who invited her forgot to tell her that when she registered online that well I'm gonna go this time because later but um forgot to tell her that there was an in-person fee of $75 so I was kind of complaining so I said oh since mom always pays for my stuff let me give the. Let me try to do a, a good thing. And it, my mom makes more than me, a, a shit ton more than me. But the best part about that is, I give mom the money, and she has. She didn't tell me for two weeks. Like she was complaining about the stomach ache. So then after two weeks, she said, "What did I do? Oh yeah, that's right. The money. My son's money. And I already given up that money, but it was my first paycheck. And I said, Mom, I could have used that money for something else, but I gave it to you." So that's the reason why you can trust my mom with money because the moment she gets like a, anything above $20, she'll put it in the safety deposit and no matter how much you beg, threaten, berate her, she will not for the life of her take it out unless it's the time to take it out. How many of you can say your moms do that? So yeah, we're at Sam's Club right now since mom just paid our membership fees. Uh, we're looking for food. Not really. You, you still have a balance with me from dad's bed of $400. But the reason I say balance is because also here's another funny story. Before, in the, in the years, leave, in the months leading up to my dad's death, um, mom had a hard time getting... You gotta go push the cart. As you can hear, my brother's getting My brother's, getting, my brother's over it today. He's tired. Come on, push the cart, push the cart. Be careful, be mindful. Which, which way do you want to go? Vegetables? Okay, go get vegetables. Okay, go, go, go look for the juice. But in the, in the months leading up to my dad's passing, um, mom and dad uh, was, and my dad's doctor at the time was having a hard time getting the beds for my dad. So when he came back from the Philippines, I bought the beds. I said, I'm not, fuck it, I'm not waiting for my dad, my late father's insurance to cover the cost. I'll shoulder the cost. I just paid off two of my credit cards, so I used two of my credit cards to purchase a Hoyer lift, several, basically, several thousand dollars worth of medical equipment that I'm now having a hard time selling. But I used that to, to pay for stuff. And that's the reason why I say I, my mom has a balance of $400 with me. 
because before I thought I could claim it under insurance, but it turns out that in order for it to be claimed under insurance, the doctor's note has to be written. And I'm just gonna put this camera because number guy doesn't like it when the camera's on him. Hey, big boy, you want people to see you being makulit? Hmm? Gary, come here. Would you like something? Oh, see? <laughs> he turned <laughs> he turned himself around because he doesn't like to be on camera. He's like mom in the sense that he doesn't like to show the ugly parts of his life. Shall we buy oysters? Oh, but we no more charcoal though. No, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Garrett, not yet. You gotta pay for it. So, yeah. Better. Better stop this so that I can help focus on Garrett.